Welcome back to True Host Academy. Today we're going to talk about cPanel, what it is and how to use it if you're just getting started, whether you're managing your own website or simply want to understand how things work behind the scenes. This video is for you. So let's jump right in. First things first, let's define cPanel. Well, think of it as your website's control room. It's a web hosting control panel that helps you manage everything about your website, from your files to your emails to databases. It's widely used because it's simple, organized, and designed for for people who might not be tech experts. So why should you care about cPanel? Here are the main reasons. One, user-friendly interface. You don't need to know how to code or deal with complex commands. Two, all-in-one tool. You can manage files, set up email accounts, install apps like WordPress, and secure your site all from one place. Three, widely supported. Most hosting companies include cPanel, and if you ever need help, there are tons of guides and support available online. All right, let's get to the good stuff. How do you access cPanel? Assuming you have installed it or it came packaged together with your web hosting plan, here are a few ways to log in. You can type slash cPanel after your domain name like this. Example.com slash cPanel or use the cPanel before your domain. cPanel.example.com You can also add 2083 after your domain. Example.com 2083 once you do that, you'll be taken to the cPanel login page. Enter your username and password. These are usually the same as your web hosting account credentials. And boom, you're in. Now, let's take a quick tour of the cPanel dashboard. Once you log into cPanel, the first thing you'll see is a navigation panel on the left side, which helps you access different tools. On the right pane, there's general information about your current user, your primary domain, IP addresses, home directory, and even the theme you're using for the dashboard. Below that, you'll find a link to the server information and a statistics list. This is super handy for quick reference to your account details. Keep in mind that this is just a sample cPanel dashboard layout. Your interface might look a little different depending on the theme your hosting provider uses or the specific cPanel version installed on your server. However, the overall features and tools remain the same. Now let's break down the navigation panel on the left side of your dashboard. The first item is the tools section, where you'll find a list of all the cPanel sections with feature icons neatly organized. This is where most of your website management activities will happen. Next up is the WordPress toolkit, the second item on the navigation panel. This toolkit is your one-stop shop for managing Managing all your WordPress sites. Once you click on it, you'll see a list of all the WordPress installations on your server. Here, you can install a new WordPress site, scan your sites for issues, check for updates, manage security settings, and if necessary, detach or remove any selected WordPress sites. The toolkit also includes management features for your plugins and themes. Under plugins, you'll get a list of all plugins installed on your WordPress sites. From here, you can easily install, upload, activate, deactivate, uninstall, or update any plugin. Similarly, under themes, you can view all the installed themes and choose to install, upload, uninstall, or update them as well. Now, moving on to the third item in the navigation panel, site quality monitoring. This feature helps you ensure your website is always accessible and free of common issues. It provides uptime scans every hour, full health and performance scans once a week, and the ability to manually scan pages. You can easily set this up by filling out a quick form to monitor your website and diagnose any problems that might affect its accessibility or discoverability. Finally, we have WP Manager by Soft Aculus, the last item on the navigation pane. This tool offers a simplified way to manage your WordPress sites using Softaculous. You'll get options to manage installations, plugins, themes, backups, and more. Now, if you look at the top bar of your cPanel dashboard, there are a few important tools here as well. A search tools box, which helps you quickly find any tool or feature by typing in the name. A notifications icon, where you'll get alerts about updates or changes. And finally, the user menu, which gives you access to user settings and options. Now let's move on to the core part of your cPanel, the tools sections. Here's a quick breakdown of each section. 1. Email section. This is where you can manage email accounts associated with your domain, set up forwarders, autoresponders, and even track email delivery. 2. Jet Backup Section this is your backup tool. It allows you to create, manage, and restore backups of your website. 3. Files Section. Here you'll find tools like File Manager, which allows you to upload, edit, and organize your website files. You can also manage FTP accounts, disk usage, and more. 
four, SEO and marketing tools. These tools help you optimize your website for search engines and market it effectively. Five, databases section. This is where you'll create and manage databases using MySkill or phpMyAdmin. Six, domains section. Manage your domains, subdomains, and domain redirects here. Seven, metrics section. In this section, you can track your website's performance, including visitor stats and resource usage. Eight, security section. Secure your website with tools for SSL certificates, IP blocking, password protection, and more. Yeah, software section. Manage installed software, install PHP versions, or set up applications like WordPress here. 10. Advanced section. This section is for more advanced users who want to manage things like cron jobs, error pages, and indexes. 11. Preferences section. Customize your cPanel settings, including language and style. 12. Softaculous apps. Installer. Lastly, we have the Softaculous apps installer, where you can install various scripts like WordPress, Joomla, and more from the provided categories. Now, to learn more about the basic cPanel features you'll need as a beginner, check out the link to that video at the description area. Area. Here are some tips to help you make the most of cPanel. 1. Start small. Begin by familiarizing yourself with simple tasks like managing your files or setting up an email account. 2. Use help resources. At True Host Academy, we have plenty of tutorials and guides for every cPanel feature. You could also check out our blogs for more information. Don't be afraid to use the built-in help icons or the cPanel documentation either. 3. Regular backups. Always back up your site regularly. You never know when you might need to restore it due to accidental changes or issues. 4. Be careful with deletions. When you're in the file manager, especially in the public underscore HTML folder, double check before you delete anything. One wrong move could take your website offline. And that's all you need to know about cPanel as a beginner. The rest you'll learn as you go. Thanks for watching Truehost Academy. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more easy to follow website management tips.